just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my Morning guys, welcome back to our channel. This morning I have both the girls in the car so that Ben can get some cleaning done by himself because yesterday he cleaned a lot and today he had a few things that he wanted to do but the girls were just being a little bit crazy so I took them and now we're in the car. The car is the easiest place to take them because you can contain them in one area and you're not worried about them like running around anywhere and you can just keep them with you. So that's what we're doing. I just went and got some coffee. Did mama get coffee? <laughs> You're silly. Oh my goodness, is Nanny feeding you lunch? Look at this little sandwich for little Aby. Oh, do you want some more water? Aby loves her water. Mmm, that's good. Oh, is she gonna give you some strawberries? Okay, how, how big on these? Um, like smaller than that? Maybe, yeah, like half of that. Perfect. She loves strawberries. Had to examine it first. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> well, good morning for me, guys. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because Ella is trying to fall asleep right next door. I was asked by Katie to see if I could potentially move Avery's crib out of her room into our room so that our guests that are coming in can have like a full area, like a bigger space. But to do that, I actually have to take apart the crib and like just take off a corner pretty much which honestly really isn't that hard so I was like okay yeah sure um but she's trying to get Avery to go to sleep so I kind of have to do this quickly Well, I literally had to dismantle this entire crib almost. I literally had to take off that whole entire left, uh, that section right there to be able to get it into the door. So now it's put back together and in our room. I think it works out well. It doesn't, it fits right here well, like we're able to fit through here. I was gonna put it right here somewhere, but um, unfortunately the crib is too wide. So, um, but this, this should work perfectly fine. Ella has woken up and she's on her iPad now because she was starting to get into when she first woke up, she was playing with toys, and now, now Kate and I are back on the clean grind. We are literally almost done, but we have this has literally been like a 48-hour span of just pure cleaning. Honestly, like we have just been cleaning, 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 and really haven't stopped whatsoever. So, the room is done. The room is completely done. Hallway is done. Downstairs is done. Dusted, cleaned, everything. Okay. Laundry room, laundry is all done. Laundry room is done. Um, bathroom is done. Avery's room is done, and now Katie is actually working on Ella's room, which is the final room. And then later, on, as soon as Katie is done, we are actually going to head over to Natalie and David's, and we are going to watch the election tonight. Last time you guys saw this, it was kind of pulled out a little bit, and we had a blanket underneath. So our stove has officially been plugged back in, and now it is working, so we have a normal house. The only thing that is not normal is the fact that right here, this carpet that I'm actually standing on right now is not, um, like it's literally just concrete underneath it. And they're actually waiting on a few pieces to be able to finish the carpet. They're waiting on like some transition strips or something like that before they can actually finish the carpet. But that's honestly not that big of a deal. So we have an oven. Our fridge is still not working, but we actually have a fridge delivery on Friday, which is like two days from now, which is actually really, really nice. They were really quick. And honestly, we haven't really been recording very much these past two days because honestly, we don't really have time to. Like, it's literally just cleaning. And we've had so much cleaning to do that if we were to focus on filming as well on top of taking care of the girls and making sure that they are good as well. It was just a lot to manage. Um, so please bear with us these last two days. We are definitely gonna get back into the vlog um, and kind of be more interactive with you guys. But these past few days, we have just been crazy, crazy, go, 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 go. And then also with the whole emotional stuff yesterday with 
potentially breaking our lease and just there was a lot that was going on yesterday and today me personally I feel way way better now that we have like a fully functioning kitchen everything is clean thanks to Katie she wiped down almost everything and dusted everything um, while I was mainly doing like the garage and doing laundry and stuff like that all right guys so we are done cleaning the entire house like everything from mopping vacuuming what else dusting dusting laundry, cleaning the garage laundry literally everything and I decided that we should do a furnished house tour because we did give an unfurnished house tour when we moved in, but we haven't given a furnished house tour. So I think that we're going to go ahead and do that. This one's very grumpy and teething right now, I think. But we're gonna give you guys a furnished house tour because it is mostly clean right now. Um, there's obviously still a few things out because we're living in here, but for the most part, it is clean. So we are going to give you guys a furnished house tour. So Ben is standing at the front door. So basically when you walk in, this is what you see. So over here, we transformed into our office slash playroom. This was a dining room and we sold the dining table and got this because I work from home. We bought picture frames for the wall, but I don't think we're gonna end up putting them up, you think? Probably yeah. not. And then the playroom that the girls love to play in. Over here is our living room. We bought these two couches. Now this is looking from like the back of the living room. I forget what we used to have here when we moved in, but we made this Ben's little video game area. And then we have a swing that we still use. And this is our kitchen. We still, we have dishes, dirty dishes in here right now, but I just cleaned the whole thing. We did buy these two bar stools right here. We were going to get third, but we have our little vacuum right here. So we just kept it at two. So then over here, we have our bathroom, but it got redone. So our sink and our toilet are not in here. And then, as far as these doors, this is just like a, a water heater. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, this is the garage. You can briefly look in the garage, a two-car garage. And this is another little playroom that we have set up for the girls. The lighting is so bad in there. But yeah, all their extra toys are in there. So that is it for downstairs. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. When you come up the stairs, the first thing is our laundry room. This has laundry in it. And then I just redid this bathroom. So this is the girls' bathroom. They just got a bath, so that's why the mat is all wet, but <laughs> new bathroom. This is Ella's room. I already have a tour of this room on our channel, so I will link that here. And then Avery's nursery. Looks a little bit different right now because we have some guests coming and they're gonna stay in here so we took out Avery's crib. But normally this is exactly what it looks like except for her crib goes right here. And then this is our room. This is the only room in the house that we didn't really decorate at all. Like all of this is old stuff from our apartment. Uh, like the side tables, except for the dresser. The dresser's room. Dressers. But obviously Avery's crib is normally not in here. But right now it is because she's gonna sleep in here while our guests are here. So yeah, we have our dresser and then this is our bathroom. This is our toilet. I like a separate toilet because... <clears throat> <laughs> and then our shower and sinks and our closet right in there. And that is pretty much it. So that is it for our furnished house tour. I'm not gonna do anything else to the walls or to any rooms, just because we're gonna be moving out of here soon into our house house. Please don't cry. And um, so anyways, yeah, we're about to move out of here into our new house next summer, so there's no point in decorating and doing stuff here that we'll just have to like patch up and everything. So that's how it's gonna stay, huh? You like our house? Do you like your nursery? Hmm? Is it so pretty? They just got baths. So. These smells so nummy. Hmm. These girls are so grumpy. Yes. Literally have been so grumpy. I think they're both teething, so it's been a lot. But yes. 
that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram before you leave. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. You said my